son of righteousness, rose with healing in his wings, the Bible teaches us, the prophecy of Jesus when he came into this world. And uh, here we have a nice sunset. God's engagement ring to his church on earth because the Bible says that the church is God's bride and God who uh, is coming back for his bride at the end of the world uh, tells us to watch for the signs around us and the signs and the seasons are all around us as we see with uh, Jesus said the sea and the waves will roar and I noticed there's been a lot more heat this year at 33 degrees in Canada, killed 90. Uh, 30 died in, I believe it was in Japan, just today, which is what, about the 20th of July. Uh, I mean, people have been dying all over the place from heat and going to hospitals. And there's excessive heat everywhere, record breaking heat in Canada, record breaking heat across the UK, we've been getting record breaking heat across Japan, they just had nearly 39 degrees nearly 40 degrees, 41 degrees in California yesterday, and 49 in, you know, Death Valley and that. They've been getting 50 in India. So again, the Bible talks about heat being in the last days. And Jesus said the sea in the waves will come, and we've had an increase in storms. So uh, we need to look at the signs, which Jesus said that Jewish people would repossess Jerusalem. And that happened in six, uh, 48 and 67. And that's a fulfillment of prophecy. If you take a day for a year, Daniel chapter 8 says, after 2,400 days, if I remember correctly, which I believe a day for a, is for a year, um, that's the time Christ w appointed that the, the problem with the Jewish people would be finished. And that happened. Uh, it all ended. Because... Uh, in 1967, the Jewish people repossessed Jerusalem after that 2,400 years. Amazing. So, um, all the things the Bible talks about, I mean, the 70 weeks, Christ would be died, said that he would die, the Mashiach would be cut off uh, for the world's sins, uh, for the people, whoever would believe in Jesus would be saved, have everlasting life. It said that he would be cut off, the Messiah would be crucified and suffer the sin and uh, bear the punishment of our sins on the cross uh, for our sins. And that happened. The Messiah, it takes about the Mashiach, uh, Kodesh, that he is righteous, he is holy, uh, that he would die for the sin of the world, not for himself. Uh, and it says his hands and feet were pierced, as we read in the Bible. that. Um, he was pierced for our transgression and it says in chapter uh, 22 verse 16 of the Psalms Psalms 22 that is uh, it says Christ was um, pierced for our, his hands and his feet were pierced and it says in Isaiah 23 that he was pierced for our transgressions bruised uh, Isaiah 53 verse 5 and 6 and also uh, it says they would the Jewish people would look on him who uh, would and they would mourn for him look on him whom they have pierced in Zechariah chapter 12 in the days when it says they go in like out to battle they would be like God going to battle and that could only happen with a nuclear bomb and this is a nuclear age we're in now everything seems to tie in chapter 9 of revelation, the spitting up fire, brimstone and smoke, I think it's aeroplanes for five months, 150 days, which I think is 150 years from the First World War, take us towards the end of the world, 
although no man knows the end hour and day, but I think we can know the season of the end. When these things begin to happen, Jesus said, all these things begin to happen, look up, for your redemption really draws nigh. So, anyway, that's my preach done. Right.